This is Nick and today I'll be talking about the classic car cards which is a set, a subscription set released by Atlas Editions or Editor Service back in the early 90s and uh, it's one of my favorite sets because I like cars and this set is just full of absolutely amazing uh, great looking photographs of cars. A few basic facts about the set. The cards are about 6 by 6 inches wide, they're about this big, or 15 by 15 centimeters, depending on where you live. Uh, there are 20 cards in each deck. There are a total of 88 decks, which makes for 1,760 cards. And supposedly there are also 75 variant cards, which means there are cards that replaced other cards in certain sets. Uh, I don't exactly know which ones they are, but supposedly they exist. Now let's take a look at one of the cards up close. Let's take this Lamborghini Miura, a beautiful, beautiful car from the 60s and 70s. And of course on the front we have a nice picture of the car. Then at the top of the card is the make and model of the car. In the top left corner is the years during which the car was manufactured. Sometimes it's one year, sometimes it's a range. On the right, in the top right corner, is the category, one of five categories that these cars are divided into. Then to the left of it, you have the country of origin, an icon denoting that country. Now let's take a look at the back of the car. At the top we have, once again, the make and the model of the car. Then on the back of the car we have usually two or three paragraphs uh, describing the car's history, performance, some technical details. If it's a racing car it, it might mention the prizes or championships it won. On the right side you will find some details about the car, specifically its top speed what type of engine it has, with the, along with the displacement and the power rating, what type of transmission, what type of chassis, and its price when the car was first released, if it was available for sale. Underneath the specifications are, is a caption for the picture on the front, and below that is the copyright notice and the card number. You'll find their numbers D3051 followed by the deck number and the card number. As you can see, this is this card is from deck number two and it's the card number seven. This card belongs to the sports category. Beside the sports category, there are also racing cars, high performance cars, luxury cars, and popular cars. On some cards, usually the ones with the higher deck numbers, you'll see that the classification icon has been replaced with the manufacturer's logo. Let's take a look at some of the accessories that came with this set. The first thing you would get after subscribing is this box to store your cards in. It looks all nice, it's it's like purple and black, it's got pictures of cars on the side and all these various car makes written down and there's a cool picture of Ferrari, of an old Ferrari right there on the top. Unfortunately, they are not sturdy at all. I have two of these boxes and both of them fell apart. It's basically, as you can see, the fault of the design. There's this lid and as you try to put the lid on top it doesn't really, it usually breaks at the corners and then it's no longer functional, it just kind of sits on top. I mean you can still put your cards in there I suppose 
but the lid is just gonna be flat on top of them and I don't like that. That's why I store my cards in Ziploc bags just like that, sorted by my own categories. Another thing you would get is a set of dividers. They are supposed to, supposed to help you classify your cards. Uh, this one, on one side it has all the different car makes. On this one you can actually, it has the logos of the car manufacturers, but there is a version of these dividers that doesn't have the logos on them. Or you can turn them upside down like so, and then you'll have certain years and categories to sort your cars by. Uh, well, it's all a nice idea, but I, I have my own sorting category, so I don't really care for these either. It's a nice touch, though. Next, we have the manual. Uh, I have one that looks like this, with the Ferrari in the cover. And also have the one that looks like this. It's black with the purple car and a blue car. And they basically tell you the same thing. They tell you how to... Oh, this one's got little cars in the back, too. Uh, they tell you, I don't know, something about this card set, they tell you how to read the individual cards. Uh, I have to say, it's not always entirely correct here. And then they tell you how you can sort these car cards, uh, in case you, you know, you can't think of various ways how to do it yourself. Uh, they're basically just giving you ideas. Uh, it's pretty cool. Out of the two, I recommend this one, because this one is thinner and it doesn't have as many details to offer, to offer. Other things you may have received upon subscribing were a set of stickers. This one, the one with the Packard, Studebaker, Hudson and Duesenberg, you would always get as your first set of stickers up to subscribing. But later on you could get cooler looking one, like this one with Porsche and Lamborghini on it and uh, there are, I've seen other sets as well. You would also get a keychain. It uh, looks like this. Some, I don't know if anybody would actually ever use this as a keychain or want to have this as a keychain. Anyway, part of the set. And to entice you to subscribe, there was this big advertisement and I do mean it's big it's like a poster it folds out it has it has information all the free stuff you can get with this set and how to do it and that it's like really cheap or something I don't actually know how much these cards cost and on the back it has this giant explanation thing it's got kind of cool you know it's got interesting car facts that you will Find out once you subscribe to this this card set. And if that does not entice you, there's a picture of an old man and a picture of a young man, and they're looking at cards together. So that will ob obviously make you sign up right away. Like I said earlier, I personally like it. I think it's a it's an amazing set. I like the fact that it's really diverse. There are all kinds of various cars represented here. Uh, you will like the set if you like older cars, specifically like the first half of the 20th century. Many cars from 1930s, 1920s, 1950s, many American muscle cars and pony cars, many French cars, German cars, Italian and British cars, and especially just overall a lot of American cars. I don't know what percentage of the set, but a huge percentage of the set is our cars made in the United States. Uh, I also like the fact that this set includes both the popular makes, the makes that everybody knows, and really obscure ones. I bet you that if you look through the set, look through the cards I have here, you will find some uh, makes that you've never heard before. Even if you're like a car fan, if you go to like car shows, you'll still find some some makes here that you've, you've never heard before. Here, I've done through this stack. Here's a few for you. Uh, I 
have a moto block here. Never heard of that before. A panade, French. Edwards and Edwards America. Who knew? Was some car. And N NSU. <laughs> Kaiser. Maybe you've heard of this one. And uh, this Bachel here. And these are actually some of the less obscure ones. I've seen some crazy makes in these cards. Now for the negatives. There are, it's mostly older cards. Uh, well, you know, the set is called classic cars, so figures. But there are very few 1980s cars and there are almost none, no cars from the 90s, maybe just a couple. Uh, you know how I told you there are a lot of Italian, German, British, French and American cars? Well, basically, if a car is not from those five countries, uh, chances are slim that it's going to be in the set. Uh, and yes, that includes Japan as well. There's only a handful of Japanese cards in the set. Uh, besides that, I'd say the set is pretty well made. It's good. There are not many misprints in the set. I mean, I've seen some minor typos. Uh, there was one where I saw the name, the actual name, the car mistyped. But they're usually pretty good. I will point out one I thought it was kind of a big deal misprint. There's a... this is a card here of an AMC Rebel machine. There it is here. And if you flip onto the other side, you will find the description for an AMC Hornet SC360. So that's strange. AMC Rebel Machine on the side, AMC Hornet description on the back. I, I suppose I shouldn't have been surprised too much when I found another card with an AMC Hornet on the front and AMC Rebel Machine description on the back. So these cards, uh, deck number 45, card 2 and card 19. Um, I don't know if the entire set was like that. I don't know if this is common. I don't know if this is rare, but I this is not supposed to be like that, I'm pretty sure. And uh, this is the classic car set. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, ask, I'll try to answer it. Thanks for watching.